This is Reba Nance, and I'm the Director of Law Practice and Risk Management for the Colorado Bar Association. Today's tip is on Outlook. Now, we all get a ton of emails in our email box, and it's easy for one to get lost. So today I'm going to show you how to change the color of the font of messages that come in from a particular person. So you can choose someone, whether it's your managing partner or your significant other or a client or even a judge, and we'll change those so that a rule will be created, and I'm using Outlook 2010 here, that emails from a particular person will come in with a different color font, so they'll show up. All right, so all I've done here is open up email and Outlook, and the first step is to click on View, and then click on View Settings, and click on Conditional Formatting. And this brings up a box that lets me do the next step, and that is to go ahead and add a new condition. It starts out, it calls it Untitled, so I'm going to go and erase that, and I'm going to put From Patrick Flaherty. And Patrick is the CBA's executive director, so I'm going to change all emails I receive from Patrick. And I'm going to go ahead and come in here and choose the font. Now it's chosen for me this obscure font. So I'm going to delete that, and I'm actually going to choose Times New Roman. Now you see I'm at the A's here. I'd have to scroll all the way down to the T's, or I can take advantage of a function that we call Quick Pick, and I can simply type the letter T it jumps directly to the T's, saving me a lot of time, and I scroll down until I see Times New Roman. Choosing Times New Roman, I'm going to choose a regular font, and the size will be 8 points, and now I can come down here and choose the color. And It may take you a couple of tries here, so maybe I think I want olive, and I click on it, and I look up here in the sample, and I see that doesn't show up very well. So coming down here, yellow looks like it would be good, so I'm going to choose yellow. And actually, as you can see, that's worse. So I'm going to come back here and choose red, because no matter what the background is, whether it's this blue or whether it's the white of the inbox, red is always going to show up well. So I'm going to click OK, and now I need to tell Outlook what the condition is. Outlook, if it says from Patrick Flaherty, that doesn't mean anything to Outlook. That's just the name that helps me remember what the rule is. So I'm going to click on the condition, and I'm actually going to have it be messages that are from. So when I click on from, it pulls up my global address list, and I now want to choose Patrick because that has his email address with it. Now again, I could scroll all the way down here to the P's for Patrick, but instead I'm going to use Quick Pick, come up here and type in P, and it jumps right to the P's. So I'm going to double click on Patrick's, so it's going to be anything from Patrick, and I click OK. So anything from Patrick is the condition that I want, and I already told it the, the font and the color. So now I click OK, and I'm all set here. I click OK here, I click OK here, and now the next time I get an email from Patrick Flaherty, it's going to come into my email box and it's going to be in red font. Now I can change this of course if I decide I don't want that any longer and I'm finished I can click view settings I can do conditional formatting again come down here I want to unclick from Patrick Flaherty and then I also want to delete this if I click OK then I've undone this and no longer will emails from Patrick be in red. So you can actually set this up for a couple of different folks. You can have one from Patrick be in red, you can have one from somebody else be in bright green, you can set up any number of ones. So it's that simple. Give it a try.